miss this Fox News alert. Fiery protests, uh, pro-Palestinian protests raging into the night at Columbia University. This comes after the Ivy League school's president testified to Congress that anti-Semitism is a serious problem, but still couldn't say whether some anti-Israel chants are even offensive. Watch. President uh, Shavik, uh, earlier today the question was posed, uh, are chants of from the river to the sea uh, anti-Semitic? You, on the other hand, uh, hemmed and hawed and then eventually said, I hear them as such, some people don't. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about there? Even that some Jewish people don't hear that as anti-Semitic, whereas I would say the majority do. Uh, so it's one of those phrases that is heard differently. Whatever that word salad was. Daniela S uh, Simons is a Columbia student who is suing the university for his failure to protect Jewish students. She joins us now. Um, I mean, it, it, this, sh this should be a clear stance from the president of the university, right? I'm with you. I'm shocked that it wasn't. Why? I think she, in some ways, is playing both sides. I think she's trying to be diplomatic. I think this is an issue that you cannot be diplomatic about. You have to set a line. That's part of being a leader. And it was even spoken about yesterday. How can you be a leader if you're not willing to take a hard stance on issues that require that and stand behind that? What is life like? I mean, you, you see the fires. Right. I mean, you have to go to that school every single day. What's life like there? Well, it's my first year at Columbia, um, and I just got out of the Israeli Defense Forces. So. It's deeply disturbing for me, not only as a Jewish student, but uh, someone who's deeply intertwined with Israel and who has friends in the military still on active duty. Um, there's really no words to describe it. I, I wake up in the morning and I have to ask myself if this is real. I can't, I can't believe this is where I'm at. I mean, you see the raw emotion on your face. You're clearly disgusted. Do you fear for your safety on the campus? Yes. I do. I've had my friends who were attacked for showing their Judaism, for wearing yarmulkes, for, you know, showing their dog tags, for wearing Stars of David. And what happens on campus when those sort of acts happen? Uh, public safety gets called or it gets reported. But what happens when it gets reported? Are there steps taken to prevent it in the future? So far, no. Well, you, if this type of behavior continues, and judging by the statements from the the president who wants to play both sides on this. Will you stay there? I can tell you that right now, right now I'm there. Hmm. Um, I can't tell you what, what I'm gonna Why be. is it important for you to be there right now? It's important for me to be there right now because my, my people are in the military. My, my friends, my family, my, my, they're, they're fighting a war, truly. And I'm a really deeply religious person, and I believe that I was put here for a reason, and so I'm going to fight. But are you surprised that the war now has been brought here to America? Am I surprised? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. I, uh, I'd hoped that we would do better. Mm -hmm. Especially at an institution like Columbia, right? Like, that's why I applied. I was so excited. These bright students, brilliant minds, we're going to lead the future generation. Really? These are the leaders of the future? I'm scared if these are the leaders of the future generation. Help. Wake up, America. Where are we? Really? What is your message to our leaders? Because it seems like they want to coddle the protesters. They want to play both sides of this argument. Right. I think that a lot of their lack of clear-cut condemnation comes from academic freedom and free speech, and they haven't yet drawn the line between free speech and hate speech and said, yeah, certain things aren't okay, and the reason why is X, Y, Z. They haven't done that, and that's scary. How am I supposed to respect leadership that can't do the ABCs in upholding their own university values? How am I supposed to learn from these professors when they can't say, no, it's not okay for you to make your classmates feel unsafe? That's how I feel. Do you feel protected? No, I don't. I don't. Thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.